is Hyun Lim. I'm here to present open source powers drones and augmented vehicles. So I will briefly go over from 2012 and now. The start of the PX4 in a decade of work, what I observed since 2012. So there were many open source software for drones in 2012. So I, I wrote a survey paper um, what open source software was available in, at that time and analyzed the functionalities. Now, few projects gone, few projects left, but PX4 is definitely one of the most successful open source software ecosystem in the drone industry. So it starts from little vehicle in the left to commercial, commercially available products nowadays. <clears throat> there are many hardwares and softwares announced. We power drones and more going forward. So from individual to ecosystem, there are lots of com uh, components of this whole ecosystem is contributors and community, users, and Drone Code Foundation, who is organizing this all great events, and also many open source supporting projects for the PX4. So going forward, this will be not only the drone, drone software, it will power the drone delivery, UAM, and more. I hope so. And also, PX4 continues to expand to the novel applications. Not only just fly the drones, it flies multiple drones, swarms, and FPV racing drones, and drone light shows, which give an um, idea to many engineering students. Why PX4 and open source? So it's simply too much software to write. So Linux Foundation, Jim Jamblin believes no one company can do it all. I think this is a one of the power of the open source project. So it's all collaborative efforts. So that no one, no, no single company can achieve this by, by themselves. PX4 was a decade of work. These, these numbers here represent very interesting thing. 3.9 million, what, what does that represent? Lines of code. It's really long code that powers all the um, UAV and augmented vehicle system. There are 40,000 commits so far, which is large. Since first commit, more than 3,600 days passed, which is almost 10 years right now. If you see carefully, if you do some math, you can find some interesting facts. So if you divide it, number of comments divided by days, every day, on average, the 11 comments, new comments per day. That translates into every two hour, a new comment is made, every two hour, since 10 years before. And every day, if you divide it, this with the line of line, number of line of code, thousands of lines of code are written every day, which is very surprising. So, and also, Drone Code Foundation has organizing the successful open source drone events. So, since 2019, we're gathering together to discuss about this great open source project. And what does the future hold? I think the, um, some topic, I think, the standard standardization and innovation to commercialization is the key to um, increase the participation of the open uh, PX4 project in novel application like FPV drones, drone light show, and, and others. And more developer engagement by making them more excite communities, manufacturers, and companies. So these will be uh, um, components for the future. 
And I hope you enjoy the drone live show today. Thank you very much. So a few more things. So best location to watch the drone live show today is one, one from the bridge. You will see there are some screens like that. So drones will be flying inside the screen. So you will see like this. And or the other three parking garage, you can, you can watch the drone show better. Yeah, thank you very much.